leather trousers. Ah! Is it 80s kitsch or beautiful and sophisticated trousers for the modern woman? Either way, let's find out. Hi everyone, my name is Eleanor. I'm a petite style blogger and on this channel we explore our personal style together. I help you to build your outfits in a chic and stylish way so that you become more confident. I post weekly style videos so if you enjoyed this video please like the video and consider subscribing so that you stay informed of all my future videos. Now to get back to the topic of today's video, leather trousers. Now I was making fun in the beginning but I do sometimes think that leather trousers can be seen as just a very kind of kitsch, um, maybe a little bit gaudy and just a kind of uh, a cheesy way to wear uh, to wear trousers especially during the winter. However over the last couple of years I have experimented with leather trousers and I'm so happy to say that today I have 10 chic and stylish ways for you to wear a pair of leather trousers. I have found that they've become such a staple for me um, living in the UK when it's cold and actually they can look really really nice. Now the pair that I'm going to show you my styles with is this pair. This is a pair of wide trousers if I can go up quite high so they're wide legged a little bit high waisted and there are just so many ways that you can style these. Now this is a pair of genuine leather trousers. Now the styles that I'm going to share with you can work with faux leather trousers as well because obviously faux leather trousers are a bit more budget friendly. But if you do want to invest in a pair of leather trousers, I will link these below. This is a pair from Warehouse, Warehouse UK. So let's get into it. Okay, so let's get into the first look. I will be looking at my phone quite a lot because I actually filmed these looks a few days ago and I've taken pictures of all the looks. So I'm just gonna be referring back to, back to my phone as I'm chatting you through them. So with this first look, I paired my wide leg leather trousers with a beautiful white knit from Cezanne. If you don't know this about me already, Cezanne is one of my favorite, favorite brands. They are French and everything that they make is just so beautiful and so stunning. And so the beautiful texture of this knit just pairs so well with the, with the leather trousers. And then I've paired it with uh, my Dune uh, flat mules. Oh, they kind of sling, they're not really flat flat. They've got a little bit of a heel and they sling back. It's got a cool to detail to them. I love these shoes so much. I wear them quite a lot. And then also with my Dune um, cassette style bag. I just think this look is so chic and you can really wear this anywhere. If you want to go on a date night, uh, out for a little bit of shopping, brunch with the girlfriends, you, you can wear this outfit. Now moving on to my second look, I've gone for something a little bit more casual, kind of smart casual. And for a top, I'm wearing my pink and blue Breton style top. And I actually have this top here. I want to show it to you. This top is from Barkin. Um, and I just love how beautifully casual it is, but I'm kind of dressing it up in this outfit, as you can see. So just by pairing it with the leather trousers, it gives it a completely different feel. So the striped top and then I've gone for a black blazer. I wear this black blazer so often. I love it so much. And then I've just gone for a pair of flat uh, penny loafers. And I love this look so much because it's a casual look that's just slightly elevated. Moving on to look number three, we're starting to feel quite wintry here. I have paired the leather trousers with a white polo neck, so quite a classic com color combination, white and black, but then I've added this beautiful MAC uh, trench style coat. This coat is from Warehouse and I've styled it a few times on Instagram as well, I'll insert a picture of that, but it's just such a beautiful trench coat, um, it's kind of, kind of got a bit of a a gingham style pattern on it, a brown and beige. And then I've paired it with a pair of cream boots. These boots are from And Other Stories. I featured it in my um, my boot, my, my, <laughs> my autumn winter shoes and boot essentials video a couple of weeks ago. I love these boots. And then I've gone for the same color in my bag. And the bag is also from Dune. And I just love this entire combination. I love this outfit so much. <laughs> 
Moving on to look number four, I've stayed with the same kind of uh, base layers, if we could call it that, so it's the leather trousers and then the white polo neck, but then I've changed my outerwear and my boots. So I've gone for a classic camel style coat and then I've paired that with the same color boots and these are my dune ankle ankle boots um, so the same color as the coat and then the bag is from Cezanne and it's in a very similar um, kind of like family shade shade family <laughs> as the coat and I love this outfit because I've gone for quite a neutral look but it's tan and black and white and I just love the combination of tan and black very simple very chic Moving on to look number five. Now here I've swapped out the white polo neck and I've gone for a black knit. The black knit isn't strictly a polo neck, um, it's just the neck is kind of higher, <laughs> higher than usual. Uh, but I quite like it because it is just, it's fitted and so it's quite close to the body, helping you to stay warm. And then I've swapped out my coat for a camel trench so the camel trench isn't quite as warm as the coat I was wearing previously but that's why I'm still wearing a quite warm knit underneath and then for my boots I've gone for a pair of black pointed ankle boots now I love these boots these boots are from Oasis they're pretty much still in stock I think I will link it down below I, I will link everything as much as I can down below. If I can't find the exact same items, I will link similar ones. And then for the bag, I've gone for a tan bag. This bag is from a Jules. Um, it's kind of like a cross between, I don't know, a messenger or a doctor's bag. I might have the terminology wrong there, but I really love it. I love the flap that kind of opens up and you can just kind of flap it back to close it. Love this look. Okay, I actually just had to pause for <laughs> a sip of coffee because I'm, I'm talking so much. But we are moving on to look number six. Now for look number six, I've actually gone for something a little bit more casual. So just a little bit of a tip to keep in mind, something that I certainly used to struggle with was the thought or the notion that just because you're wearing something uh, casual does not mean that you can't look chic and um, I think I found quite a, a casual chic way of wearing leather trousers with this next look. So here I've swapped out boots for a pair of trainers and these trainers are they're kind of I suppose they're kind of trending at the moment they're these vintage retro style trainers my pair is from Dune I just love the beige color of them and with the length of the trousers I think they work really well with the with the trainers and then I've paired this whole look with a very casual floral bomber style jacket it's a bomber style it's also quilted uh, jacket and this one is from Cezanne I know the last time I checked this one was sold out but I will link a similar one for you and then I've gone for a crossbody bag this bag is from Dune but I love how the kind of like the grayish gray beige grayish color of the bag matches or complements the beige of the trainers so they're not exactly the same but they definitely complement each other and I just love this casual look um, I've worn this look a few times while just kind of you know browsing around the shops on a Saturday afternoon with my family and it's just really nice and comfortable yet still chic moving on to the seventh look this one is also quite casual I would say here I'm wearing another Breton style top this one is a polar neck and um, this one is black and white um, high neck and I've gone for quite a white look so I'm wearing a long cardigan this uh, white knitted cardigan I love it so much it's from a brand called Cara in the Sky they're local to the UK and an independent brand and I just love all the knitwear that they bring out then I've gone for a pair of white or kind of off-white uh, chunky boots and I love the the look of the chunky boots paired with the leather trousers and then I've also just gone for a white bag so um, kind of for cohesiveness in the entire outfit sticking to those uh, white off-white tones I love this casual look so much and definitely this one is also one for kind of browsing around the shops or just going for a casual brunch or lunch love it Moving on to look number eight and this time I have gone back to a white knit however this one is super thick 
and chunky and just really really cozy and so warm uh, so this one is from H&M and I'm sure that you can find it uh, or similar ones uh, you know, from so many high street retailers. I've tucked in the the knit and then I've paired it with my white and or my cream and other stories boots again as well as my dune quilted bag. And for me this is just such a chic look. Um, I genuinely love it so so much. Um, and again I've got the, the, the light creams paired with a black uh, leather and again just the the contrast of the textures just work so well together so you've got the knit with the leather and I just think that brings so much interest to your outfit and moving on we're almost at the end we're at look number nine so for this look I've kept the chunky knit and the leather trousers obviously but this time I have added my pink wool coat my this coat is from and or jacket is from and other stories and I just love how this jacket is working over the knit um, the jacket is a little bit oversized and boxy usually I don't like my clothing to be oversized at all I do love quite fitted looks however in this case it just works so well because the knit is really really chunky and actually I don't have many coats that work over it so this jacket is just perfect and then I've gone for my Vaya high, high top Vaya trainers and I just love this casual look I, I really think it's very casual chic and again just a uh, just wear it anywhere really uh, lunch shopping visiting friends visiting family um, I love it and we're on the final look everyone look number 10 so for this look I have gone back to my black and white polo neck and then I'm wearing my off-white chunky boots and I've kind of completed the look or as my outer layer I'm wearing my yellow quilted coat from and other stories I am so so in love with this coat I'm not sure if I featured it on YouTube before I'm definitely wearing it over on Instagram I'll insert a, a photo of it however um, I'm just so in love with it like I mentioned <laughs> but, but of course quilted coats are very much on trend right now I'm sure I'm going to be wearing this coat for a very long time to come because I love it so much and then just to finish things off I'm wearing a, a black uh, crossbody bag from Dune uh, you can wear this bag kind of over the shoulder but uh, sticking to the casual chic vibes I've got going I'm wearing it crossbody style and I just love this look once again anytime you want to look chic wear it but you also want to be comfortable you don't want to wear heels I just think these chunky boots complement the look so well or they just work so well so this is it thank you so much for watching today everyone I really am focused on building a community over here on YouTube so please let me know what you enjoyed most about this video would you wear any of these styles would you wear leather trousers in the first place if you are already wearing leather trousers how do you like to style yours I definitely want to hear from you in the comments and if there's anything in particular that you'd like to see from me uh, please let me know leave me a comment uh, write to me follow me on Instagram and I'll be sure to get back to you definitely subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and I cannot wait to see you in the next one bye